Good morning. Welcome to Word of the Week. I'm Duncan McClee, the staff chaplain at U-Turn. This is the fourth of five reflections on how we relate to others at home, at work or wherever. And I'm using a template or a checklist, if you like, called the five words of relating. I have personally found this really helpful as a a reminder and a prompt, and I hope you do too. So the five words relating are, hello, thank you, I'm sorry, I love you, goodbye. And we reflected thus far on hello, thank you, and I'm sorry. And today we reflect on, I love you. Well, it's not always appropriate to say it in those exact words, but expressing love, affection, appreciation and delight in another is an important part of any relationship. Jesus said, a new commandment I give you, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. John chapter 13 verse 34. St. Paul writing to the Christians in Rome says, Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil, cling to what is good, be devoted to one another in love. Honour one another above yourselves. Romans 12, 9 and 10. There are numerous passages in scripture where we are reminded that love is central to the purposes and the will of God. St. Peter writes, Finally, all of you, be like-minded, be sympathetic, love one another, be compassionate and humble. 1 Peter 3.8 And St. John writes, Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. 1 John 4.7 And of course we are told that it must not just be words, but our actions that must convey love, compassion, care, and honor. But words are important, and they do need to be used. Depending on the context, we we may not use the actual words, I love you. But if that is our heart attitude, we will find ways to express it in appropriate words and actions. In the last years, my mother suffered from Alzheimer's disease and in her final days she was in hospital and I went up to see her in Pretoria and I went into the hospital and sat next to her in the bed and took her hand. I was very moved when she looked into my eyes and she said, I love you. It was a a special treasured moment. But just then the doctor came in and he said, Good morning Mrs. McClee, how are you today? And she looked up at him with that same gaze and said, I love you. In fact, she said it to everyone. On reflection it was a wonderful place for the record to get stuck as it were. And it came out of a life that said it often in word and deed. I'm very grateful for the love that I received from my mother. May God open our eyes and our hearts this week to express in words and actions a heart that says to the other, I love you. Music. Jesus said, A new commandment I give you, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. Lord Jesus, give us grace to love those you put on our hearts and bring across our paths. Show us how to express that love in word and deed. And we ask this for your namesake. Amen.